Major and Minor Pentatonic Box Relationships. friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another mini lead guitar tutorial. In today's session I'm going to be sharing with you a mind-blowing lead guitar trick. Now this is something that has had a dramatic effect on my playing. It's given me a lot of confidence as I explore the fretboard and it's very simple and easy to implement. Basically we have five main positions of the major pentatonic scale across the fretboard. Now it doesn't matter which one you're playing, if you move it up by three semitones, it's going to turn it minor and keep it in the same key, so the parallel minor. So we're going to be applying this concept to the G position, the D position, and the A position, so three different positions of the major pentatonic scale, turning them minor by bringing them up three semitones. Let's get started. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with section one of this lesson. Applying the concept that no scale pattern is inherently major or minor to the G-shaped position of the A major pentatonic scale. So that basically means I'm taking my G-shape, transposing it to the key of A, and surrounding this shape, I'm going to have a position of the A major pentatonic scale. So to perform that, we're on the second fret of the low E string, going up to five. That's your root note right there, the A. Then onto the A string, we're gonna play two four, D string two four, G string two four, B string uh, two up to five, and the high E string two five. Put all that together and we've got. The A major pentatonic scale. Now let's test our concept. We just need to take this up three frets or three semitones to turn it minor. All right, so one, two, three. All right, now I'm on the fifth fret position, outlining an A minor chord. I play the exact same finger pattern. And it's been turned minor. Okay, so it works. On the second fret position. All right, that's going to produce great licks for jamming over top of major chord progressions. In the fifth fret position. All right, that's going to be great licks for playing over top of minor chord progressions. But the real power here is that over top of, you know, like blues progressions. Okay, major chord progressions, you can play both major and minor licks. So if I'm jamming over top of a blues, I can start here in major and then switch to minor back and forth. Okay, now let's see if we can apply this exact same concept to another position of the major pentatonic scale, the D position. Okay, very good everybody. Thus far you've transferred the G-shaped position of the A major pentatonic scale all right, to the parallel minor in its E shape position. Okay, so A minor pentatonic scale. Let's apply the exact same concept to the A major pentatonic scale in its D shape position. Okay, so surrounding this chord shape here. It's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, and you can find your root back there on the fifth fret of the low E string. Okay, so not every position of a given scale starts on a root note, which can be a little bit confusing for some players. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so in this position, the major pentatonic scale, key of A, we're gonna have seven going up to nine on the low E string. The same thing on the A string, same thing on the D string. Then on the G string, we're gonna play six up to nine. On the B string, seven going up to 10. And then on the high E string, seven going up to nine. You put all that together and we've got. Okay, the D shaped position of the A major pentatonic scale. Now, same exact rule applies. If we shift that up 
by three semitones, we're going to have the exact same finger pattern, but it's going to be minor. Okay, so we were on the seventh fret position. We're gonna go up three frets. One, two, three. Okay, we test it out. Okay, and indeed it sounds very minor. All right, such a cool sound there. Okay, so now we're playing 10 up to 12. All right, 10, 12. 10, 12. All right, nine up to 12. B string, 10 going up to 13. And the high E string, 10 going up to 12. So many licks. Right there in this box that a lot of people call the Clapton box. Okay, so there it is. Once again, it works. We're on the major pentatonic scale when we're on the seventh fret position, and we're in the minor pentatonic scale when we're on the tenth fret position. Okay, very good, everybody. So far, you've transferred the G shaped position of the A major pentatonic scale. All right, to its parallel minor, shifting it up three frets to the E shaped position of the minor pentatonic scale. Okay, we did the exact same thing to the D shaped position of the A major pentatonic scale. Shifting it up to find the C minor shaped position of the A minor pentatonic scale, which outlines a little C minor chord shape. Okay, now we're gonna do this just once more to one more position of the major pentatonic scale, which is going to be the A position. Okay, so it's gonna outline our A major chord using an A shape. Okay, it's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, very simple. We're on the 12th fret, we're going 12 to 14. 12 to 14. Then we're gonna have 11 to 14, 11 to 14, 12 to 14, and then 12 to 14 again. All right, the A major pentatonic scale surrounding the A major chord in its A shape position. Okay, testing this concept once more. We're gonna take it up. One, two, three. Okay, so now we're in the G minor shape position, A minor, pentatonic scale. I've got the root note right here on the 17th fret of the low E string. I'm gonna play the exact same finger pattern. And you can tell that it sounds very minor. Okay, so that was 15 up to 17. 15, 17, 14, 17, 14, 17, 15, 17, 15, 17. Okay, to complete one more position of the A minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so there you have it. The next step for you guys is to practice each of these scale positions, get them in the muscle memory, then pull up a backing track. Something shuffling in the key of A would be good. All right, then, Start off with the major, come up with some licks. All right, then switch to the minor. A little call and response. All right, back to the major. And back to the minor. Back to major. And back to minor. Okay, endless possibilities. When you're thinking about this concept, every single major pentatonic scale brought up by three, semitones becomes minor. And the other side of this concept is that no position of the major or minor pentatonic scale is inherently major or minor. It's where you play it on the fretboard that gives it its majorness or its minorness. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lead guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash with lessons. I hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.